of the universe. We'll see. Anyway, my body's a temple, as you can see. It's what happens when a profoundly deep human being such as I... Self-esteem, but on the other hand, I'm no Sigourney Weaver either. Wouldn't it be nice if everyone had a blackout button? Well, today, Eileen Graham from Mr. Belvedere and her contestant partner, Jenna Pagalato and Jamie Farr from MASH and his contestant partner, Steve Ledoux, all have blackout buttons right here on Blackout! And now, here's the host of Blackout, Bob Cohen! Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, Gary. Hi, Gary. Oh, thank you very much. Good looking group of folks. Welcome back to Blackout. Boy, we had a great day yesterday, and uh, one of the main reasons is our two terrific celebrities this week. Eileen Graff, you won $10,000 for your partner yesterday. For my partner. Yeah, for your partner. <laughs> you did great. Wish you the best of luck today. Your partner today, oh, I hope I get this right, Janice Pagalato. Yes. Pagalato. Yes. Okay, what do you do, Janice? I manage the lingerie store, and I just got here from New York. Great. All right. Well, I'll talk to you after the show, I guess. And, uh, Jamie Farr, how are yes, you doing? I'm doing better. I made a few mistakes yesterday, but so did my partner. He made one That's good a, yeah. mistake. He won the $10,000. That's right. You learn from it. Steve, you've got about four, or $11,000 so far. Wow. Keep going. You're doing great. Okay. Here's how we play the game. The object is to solve two word puzzles, so let's look at the first one. Here it is. The newborn blank blank kept calling for its mother because it was experiencing blank blank. Now, any team that guesses the word that's missing in the puzzle gets $100 in cash, but more importantly, a chance at solving the puzzle. And since Eileen is on the challenging team, she is going to start us off by describing one of the missing words for 20 seconds while we record what she's saying. Her partner Janice will be wearing that headset there filled with music, so she won't hear this description. I remember, Eileen, try not to repeat an important word that's related to the word you're trying to describe. For instance, if we're going for the word dance, you may use the word waltz to describe it, just don't say waltz again, okay? Take a look at the word in your monitor there, Eileen, and start describing it when you hear the bell. It is the color, it is the background of the blouse I'm wearing, it is the absence of light, it is the opposite of white, it is um, very, very dark, it is uh, just a descriptive. All right, your time is up. Twenty seconds so far. Now we're going to play back the recording of what she just said, except for one thing. Jamie has what we call a blackout button, and with it, he can censor up to seven seconds of Eileen's speech to Janet. So let's play it back and hear how he does. It is a brown blouse wearing. It is the absence. It is the op. It is um there. It is uh. Two. Oh, great blocking oh. out. Oh. 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 <laughs> Boy, you got to work that out for you, Janice. You know the word? I guess black. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Oh, oh. And just really blacking out. What gave it to her? I know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but you've got $100 there, Janice. More importantly, you get a chance of solving the puzzle. Remember now, black is just a word in the puzzle. It's not necessarily the first word. And remember that our writers like to pun and have fun with these puzzles. So let's look at it and add that word black and say the newborn blank blank kept calling for its mother because it was experiencing blank blank. Five seconds to figure it out. You'll keep me in suspense. Well, thank you there. Okay, let's take a break then. We won't be in suspense. We'll be back with word number two right after this. So first one, Janice, how did you get that word black? I remember it's opposite. And then I'm what blouse I'm wearing. There you go. Well, it worked out beautifully. Okay, let's see if Jamie and Steve can do as well this time. Jamie, the word's in your monitor. Start your description with the bell sound. Agony, your nervous system, you have aches and blank. Uh, it says your uh, things that hurt, uh, uh, head uh, problems. Uh, you get uh, you get this when you lay on nails. It's very <laughs> blankful. Okay, we're gonna play that description back, now, Jim. This time, Eileen, you're gonna be doing the blacking out. You've got seven seconds. We'll play it back to Steve. Agony. You have uh, uh, 
I think that uh, head problems, uh, you, get, uh, you get this when you lay on nails. It's very blank full. Okay, Steve, what do you think? I think uh, nails would be painful. It would be pain. Is the word yeah. Good job. Good job. All right, you got pain and you've got another $100. You've got to look at the puzzle. And that's the word pain. So the puzzle goes, the newborn blank blank kept calling for its mother because it was experiencing bank blank blank. <laughs> the game go on. Oh, good thinking. Yeah, let, let the game go on. on. Okay, then we go to word number three, and Eileen, you'll see it in your monitor. You can start describing it when you hear the bell. A robin is one of these, a parrot, a parakeet, and uh, you, you keep them in cages. They fly around. A uh, crow is also one of these, a um, canary. Uh, it's a Tiny little thing. That's all the time you got. Nice job. Nice job. Heads up, come out the jazz. Jane is blocking out this time. Let's play it back to Jane. A rock. A parrot. A parrot. And, uh, uh you. <laughs> you can indeed make a round. A crook. A, a, a um, canary. Uh, it's a. Wow, Janice. <laughs> She's not quite sure about this. What do you think? Chirp? No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. She's all over the deep, deep. You heard the whole thing. Uncensored. What's the word? Well, I think you keep a bird in the cage. Bird is the word we wanted. Yeah. That's it. Good job. You steal the word from him, Steve. You've got another hundred dollars in cash. Okay, let's see if you can solve the puzzle with those three words. We have the word bird. The newborn blank blank kept calling for its mother because it was experiencing blank blank. Okay, well, let's go five seconds okay. here. Think about it. Oh, you have to hear the music? Yeah, it's lovely music. I heard that music. That's what we were listening we, to on the headset. You paid big dough for the music. We're going to hear it. Steve, what's the puzzle? The newborn black bird kept calling for its mother because it was experiencing crowing pain. That's it! Yeah. You got it. Crowing. You remember the twist. You always remember those twists. Yeah, it pays off for you. You got the first puzzle. Great job. But remember, it takes two puzzles to win. That means Janice and Eileen, you're not out of it yet. We've got next puzzle number two coming up right after this short break. Back to the play moral blackout. We've got one puzzle for Steve and Jamie. Nothing yet for Janice and Eileen. But like I said, you can still catch up. We've got one more puzzle, and we've got to take two puzzles to win. Notice we've also reversed positions here. Steve and Janice will be doing the talking this time. So let's look at our next puzzle. After a blank operation, Pam got a job working with blank because she had a blank blank. Now, this time we're going to start with Steve and Jamie. So, Steve, take a look at the word in your monitor, and you can start your description when you hear the bell. <laughs> A facelift is a type of this kind of surgery. A woman uses lipstick, eyeshadow, they're all forms of this. Um, if you have a big nose and you want to have it made smaller, um, you go to a, a plastic surgeon and it's this kind of operation. And when you want to look better, you put lots of this on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good choice of words. See, okay, Janice is going to be doing the blocking out this time. And a little, uh, little bad news for you, Steve. You had a repetition of one important word. So the penalty for that is we had one second of blackout time for Janice. So Janice, instead of seven seconds, you've got eight seconds of blackout time. Let's see what you block out. Jamie, listen carefully. Hey, Faith, this time, Faith, a woman uses shattered all forms of this. Um, if you have a big nose, smaller, um, go to a, a, this kind of, and when you want to set it, that's it, that's it, good clapping out, yeah, terrific clapping out, Janice. Jamie, what's the word? Surgeon? 
Well, that's incorrect. I'm sorry. We go to Eileen. You can steal the word from him, Eileen. What is it? Cosmetic. Cosmetic is the word we wanted. That's it. Yeah. Surgeon, as a matter of fact, was the word you repeated. You said surgery and surgery. That's so why I heard it. That's right. why you got it. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the puzzle now. And add the word cosmetic. After a blank operation, Pam got a job working with blank because she had a blank blank. Five seconds, lady. All right, can you solve it based on that one word? I'll take that as a no. Then we'll go to word number two, and Janet, you're in charge. Let's take a look at your monitor and start describing it when the bell comes. Bandits, they take things and they take it out of the country. When you go to an airport and they're afraid of illegal activity, they check for this, and are criminals that are on ships that take that kind of that they're not supposed to, and pirates and illegal uh, aliens within the <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job, though. We got a lot of information in there. Now we will play it back. Steve will be doing the blacking out, and you too will have eight seconds of blackout time, Steve. You had one important repetition there, Janet. So let's play it back. I really listen carefully. Bandit. For the country. Airport. Bandit. 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 Got tons of bandits and pirates and illegal aliens within the country. Okay, Eileen, did enough get through there to help you? No idea, huh? Well, we throw it to Jamie. You've got kind of a question mark in your eyes. I, I have no idea. Really? What it is? And I heard the entire thing. You wanted the whole thing. It's your accent. I said, it's your accent. It's your accent. It's your accent. No, the word was smugglers. Smugglers. Oh, smugglers. Yeah, that's a difficult word. And illegal was the word that you repeated a couple of times. So, we got to post the word anyway. Nobody gets any money and nobody gets a chance of solving the puzzle. But let's look at it. And add the word smugglers. After a blank operation, Pam got a job working with blank because she had a blank blank. Okay, we're going to word number three, and it's in your control, Steve. So take a look at the word in your monitor and get ready to go. Uh, woman, if she wants to, I like the longer she puts blank leaves on her lid. Um, if you get something, uh, the opposite is true. Um, if somebody is real nasty, they're not a um, nice person they are being back to their self. Um, in school, you take a certain kind of test that... Oh, boy. Okay. Let's see how Janice handles this now. Janice, you've got seven seconds of blackout time. Listen carefully, Jamie. Uh, her eyelashes should be locked. on her lid. Um, if you get something, uh, the opposite... Um, if somebody has grown up, a um, nice person being... Um, and still you take a certain... All right. Good blocking up. Difficult word to describe, too. Okay, Jamie, any idea? Makeup. No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. We go to Eileen. Can you steal that word from him? Yeah, sure. Oh, it's the word we wanted. Yeah. Well, you have to hear almost all 20 seconds of it because it's a very tough word to do. All right, you steal a phone. You've got $100 there, Jamie, and a chance of solving it. Oh, it's up there. After a blank operation, Pam got a job working with blank because she had a blank blank. Five seconds. All right, solve it, ladies. Yeah. Can you do it? After a cosmetic operation, Pam got a job working with smugglers because she had a first cut. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, funny, though, but incorrect. Okay, Janice, you're in charge of that fourth word now, so take a look at it in your screen. Very important, fourth and final word. Start your description with the bell sound. Now you talk, it's just your lungs. The front of the barrel. Front of the shirt. Length up when you start to drink. You all do it here, and you plug down fast and see it. And... Right on overhead, under the... Of the <laughs> I don't know if you get it, but I still want to do a party this year. All right. Steve, you've got seven seconds of blackout time. We'll play it back for our lead. Right 
Okay, Eileen, that fourth word, can you get it? Got it for you, wasn't it? Nope, no, no, uh, not on the top. Not on the top. Oh, well, there you go. Get to the basics. Oh. Great job, Janice. You made it work through the 20 seconds. We look at the puzzle again. As a fourth and final word, after a blank operation, Pam got a job working with blank because she had a blank blank. Five seconds, you two. All right, you can throw the game into a tie. After a cosmetic operation, Pam got a job working with smugglers. Because she had a false bottom. Well, yes, good job, Good comeback. Good comeback. Now, we're throwing the game into a tie. We've got to play a tiebreaker. Here's how we do it real quickly. We will play for only one word. Janet, your team got the most words along the way, so we will show you a word in your monitor. You'll decide if you want to play it, describe it for 10 seconds, or pass it to Steve, and you'll be doing blocking out for three seconds. All right, so Eileen and uh, Jamie, put your headsets on. Janet, take a look at the word in your monitor. Now, do you want to describe it for 10 seconds or pass it to Steve? Okay, Steve, you'll be doing the describing for 10 seconds. Remember, if you successfully convey that word to Jamie, your team will automatically win. But if Janet successfully blacks you out, she and Eileen will automatically be the winners. Good luck. Start when you hear the bell. When you do the wash, uh, your clothes turn very dead. A door is very musty and blank. It lines with uh, lamp. Um, not... Not All right, time is up. We're getting the folks back. Their headsets come off. No repeat. Janice, you'll have three seconds to block that time. We play it back for Jamie. We'll be listening here. Jamie, listen. When you do the first very good. First very much. Blank. It lines with. Uh, not. We're not. Jamie, for the game, what's the word? That is incorrect for Janet. Janet, you won. Oh. Janet, you won. 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 Janet, you Never beat the Bob Brown beef. Or we make these candy packets pure ground beef because it is 50% easier than the government requires. It's convenient, ready to freeze, and easy to slice with this great tasting burger. It makes great meatloaf, meatloaf, and spaghetti. Spaghetti! So fix the package that fits well with your bun. WD 100% pure ground beef from Winn Dixie. Tonight, get part from the routine. Discover the joy dinners. Just tap with a joy slice off and chow mein noodles and you're off for the Orient. Please check the seat menu for dining positions and before that first bite. Make sure you meals and ingredients. A welcome departure. Natural dairy butter. It has the same calories as margarine, just 36 per pound. Gas pain, bloating, Gas X has the strongest, fastest relief ingredient. Painful gas is like beer bubbles. Add the leading ad acid. Add Gas X. Only Gas X gets rid of the gas. The strongest, fastest reliever for gas pain and bloating. Gas X. Welcome back to Blackout. Here's how we go for that $10,000 in cash. The game is played in 70 seconds right up here on this clue screen. Now, Janice, you decided you'll be able to see the screen, but Arlene's back will be to the screen as well. Now, we're going to show you up to six clues to the subject, Janice, one at a time, every two seconds. When you think that we've revealed enough information for Arlene to figure it out, you'll have to solve it. Arlene will spin around, hopefully identify the subject, and if she gets five of them in 70 seconds like she did yesterday, you'll win $10,000 in cash. Now, to help you gauge how many clues to show, I will show you and only you the answers to each one. All right, so Eileen, back to the screen. 
We'll start the game and the clock when I yell out the first category. You ready? The category is the title. Good luck. Go.